into the construction courses. Now, obviously, the heart of ARA is Christchurch, which is where the main campus is. Um, yeah. And, you know, and that is the heart of construction in New Zealand. So just for me to get my head around this, you talked about the employment and um, placement during the course. So I understand that there's a, there's a few key courses in construction. You've got the graduate diplomas in construction courses, the quantity surveying courses. What are those? Can you just describe for me how the practical part of that works? That I'm just kind of making it a bit specialized for the construction stream and just trying to understand what it means for people that are wanting to get into those courses. Well, we have a Department of Engineering and Architectural Studies. So all of our construction management, our architectural studies, interior design, quantity surveying, um, all of those programs are in the same department. So there's a lot of crossover. And if you come down to visit our campus and you enter that department, it is the most modern building you can imagine. And a lot of the construction styles are evidenced in the building. So the building itself is a teaching place. It has a strong focus on sustainability too, which is um, very big in the design of the lot of the buildings in the new city. It's a very exciting place and we do have people coming from all around the world to have a look at a lot of the construction projects in Christchurch. Many of the government projects are built by Fletcher's, which is one of the biggest construction firms in New Zealand. There's a lot of other construction companies in Christchurch and um, one of the biggest ones, Lee's Construction, is actually run by a graduate of ARA from a few years back. So. Um, there's a lot of success stories and we have some really strong relationships into those um, industries. And I do love the way the students get to work on their projects across disciplines. So they may be working on the same research project and you'll have the interior design students um, working on the design aspect interior um, wise. You'll have quantity surveyors that are measuring up the quantities of everything that's needed for the construction project. You'll have the construction management students. And they can sometimes be working on the same project together. So it's very much like the workplace because in the workplace, the engineers have to work alongside the construction managers and, um, you know, the quantity surveyors and, and everything else. So... I think it's a great preparation for working in the industry and we have a very popular Bachelor of Construction Management, but we also have two graduate diplomas, the Graduate Diploma in Quantity Surveying and the, bachelor, uh, the Graduate Diploma in Construction Management as well. Yep. So yeah. anybody with a civil engineering background, those programs, those graduate diplomas are, are really suitable for them. And I can absolutely vouch because I've actually visited um, Ara's campus and I have actually traveled in that building. And I remember taking dozens and dozens of photos uh, and whoever mm -hmm. was showing me around told me this is what the campus was. And I know, I think it was Abhinit showing me around and just right. looking yeah. was, you know, the building and where the students, it was, it was actually really fascinating. So that's, that's, I can absolutely um, confirm that I've actually witnessed it with my own eyes. So just for those of you that are listening, I mean, I want to start off with the construction courses. And as Beth has said, um, you, they've got the graduate diploma in construction management, the graduate diploma in quantity surveying and the bachelors of construction, which has got specializations in quantity surveying and construction management. And those of you that do know, these courses do have outcomes that lead into the skill shortage areas. So you can become a quantity surveyor, you can become a construction project manager, and all of these occupations do sit in the skill shortage areas um, in New Zealand. So that's that's fantastic. Um, it's I a can, tremendous I can... advantage because in Christchurch, one of the issues we are facing is quite an aging population, um, even compared to some other cities in New Zealand of, um, you know, similar major cities. Our population is more of an aging population. It may be something to do with the South Island, I'm not sure. But um, we do know that um, the research that we had done shows that we are going to be short of workers by 2030 as more people retire. So um, there is definitely 
in the medium to long term, there will definitely be these shortages. And also, the government has got shovel ready projects. They That's are right. Funded, so there will be jobs. Yeah, absolutely. And I've been doing blogs on those construction projects and the funding that's gone towards it. So, you know, that that, that is something that's going to keep being New Zealand's backbone. Um